tuned to this uh video and if you all know what we're gonna do today i'm sorry i'm like my words is really like jumble up right now so what we're gonna do today is this makeup look that i have on and yeah and this video is gonna be doing my makeup while high or while, while i'm still high and yeah and this is not because i want to promote marijuana use this is just me doing my makeup see if i can still do a full glam makeup while i'm still high so i really wanted to test that theory i'm not gonna be making these one of those videos often but this is a makeup look that i kind of just came up not came up with but i've been wanting to do for a very long time because i never really wore yellow eyeshadow and it may come to a surprise for you all but i have never ever ever wore yellow eyeshadow because bright colors and my skin tone and my how dark my eyelid is, it never came out pretty good. And seeing it comes out this good, I've been working on holding my makeup skills and they're just getting better and better and better. So, yeah. uh, so if you guys want to see how I get this makeup look and uh, just, yeah, just getting this makeup look, then keep on watching. Hi guys, I am back and I already did my eyebrows off camera to not waste any more time. So here I'm going to go ahead and start off by priming my eyelids with my Morphe primer. And if you see me happen to look off, I'm just watching some TV. And I'm just putting that all over my eyelid and kind of like sw not sweeping it down, but making sure that I pat it everywhere just to get it really nice in there. And if you like I said, this video is me being still a little high in the morning and trying to do a full glamour makeup. But this actually turned into a really good, you know, eyeshadow look. So yeah. So uh, after I believe that I did uh, put on the Morphe Eyelid Primer, that's when I went in with my um, NYX eyeshadow base just to lay down a base for my eyeshadow and just, you know, put, packing that onto my eyelid. And my, my other eyelid kept getting watery, so if you see me kind of bending down, I'm kind of wiping some water, right? Like, it gets so watery. It's kind of irritating because it's like you don't want it to mess up the makeup. So you gotta I'm trying to dry it. <laughs> and I'm taking it on the other side of that, uh, with that eyeshadow base. Just really working my way in there. And like I said in the beginning, I'm not promoting smoking marijuana. You do you. You have your own views and stuff like that. But I thought it would be cool and kind of funny just to see if I can do it. Because a lot of us don't. I don't know. But I never heard of someone, you know, using marijuana and then putting on their makeup afterwards. Like that. I feel like it'll, you will mess up a lot, so I really wanted to try it. I wasn't that much high, but I was still feeling the effects of it. So I wanted to see if I could focus on my makeup. And you may see me a little bit of discrepancies there. So here I'm using my James Charles palette, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time right now. And I'm going to be taking that warm, kind of like neutral orange tone, tan fall color. And I'm going to use this as like a warm transitioning color. And I'm going to blend it out using my Coca-Cola in uh, X Morphe brush. And 
I don't know how to blend properly. Like, I've seen it thousands of times of beauty gurus and social media influencers, you know, blending, professionals blending. And I just can't really get the technique down. I can, for the most part, say about 50%, but I have another 50% to go. So if you see me really just kind of struggling, just know I'm not the best blender, but I do what works for me. So once I take that warm tone onto the other eye, I'm going to switch and go on my other side and start applying that warm color. And I know to you all it looks orange, but trust me, it's, it's not orange. I like to use this as far as a transitioning color. I noticed when I started to use this color more and more, I started to see a lot of warm and depth. Like it gave it such like much of a glow. And I try to blend as much as I can, but with me still being the way I am, it kind of got a little repetitive. I had to keep going back and seeing, make sure that the warm color is going all around, making sure that it's being blended in pretty, pretty good to a certain extent. And don't worry about my hair, guys. Please don't come for me. I am going to wash my hair. I actually have to wash my hair the next day. So yeah so i was done with the transition color now i'm going to be taking a dark really dark chocolate brown color i call it mocha dark mocha and it's not black but let me tell you guys when i did i forgot to do something i did not shake off the brush so right here you see me kind of going in and you see that little patch right there i didn't mess up on that part but let me tell you guys the look came together it, it really came together and I was like, ooh, <laughs> I was really laughing. I wasn't even really mad because I, I knew I effed up on that. Regular me, sober me, I wouldn't have done that. But, you know, I make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. And makeup doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so, yeah, all I try to do is tap away some of that brush. And I was kind of liking it. I was actually liking it, though. And I actually still do like it because it gave me the darkness that I wanted it because I wanted it to be kind of like, you know, have that transition color and it kind of fades out towards the end. I really wanted that. And that's what I was really going for. It's just I didn't know how to approach it because black, black colors, any dark colors can be very, very mishandled if you don't know the right technique to use it. So as you can see, I'm still like kind of feeling it. I'm trying to go back in, darken up this section, trying to really blend this out. And then I'm taking it more above my crease because I want to kind of create that little shadow effect. And it actually worked. And that's what I was going for. And I know that side was still like bigger than that one. So I think I took a different brush and I think I was just really blending out that harshness. And I think with this one, it kind of helped in a way. It kind of helped a little bit. Yeah, it did help when I took a different brush. So once I was done with the blending, I was going to go in and use my cut crease and then use that um, yellow eyeshadow that is in the James Charles eyeshadow palette. And then I was thinking about some stuff and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it a different way, like different eyeshadows. So yeah, because I was like, I don't know if I wanted to do the yellow eyeshadow first and then the cut crease or did I want to do the cut crease then the eyeshadow I know it sounds confusing but you'll get what I'm saying so I was like I was trying to see do I really want to put this yellow eyeshadow on here but I was like no I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way so I went off camera and I did my cut crease as you all can so and it's not perfect so don't judge me <laughs> here I'm taking that yellow brush not yellow brush the yellow eyeshadow that's in the James Charles mini eyeshadow palette from Morphe and I'm basically trying to scoop it all over into the Morphe brush really get it on there get all the pigment that I can and as soon as I start tapping some of it starts to have a lot of fallout and kind of got everywhere 
So I was trying to, I was going back and forth between the mirror that I had in my hand and the actual mirror and really make sure I'm packing on this yellow color. Now for this one, you want to, I used the James Charles eyeshadow palette to get this yellow tone color. This is more of a really, really sun yellow. I'm not talking about neon yellow. I'm talking about just a regular sun color. And then when you put it on your lid, it comes really, really bright. That's basically what I'm talking about. You really want the yellow eyeshadow to show. And here, I was really shocked because I was like, okay. I never did yellow eyeshadow, guys. So right here, you're seeing me doing this eye yellow eyeshadow look. And I didn't know this, this was my first time doing a yellow eyeshadow look. I'd never done it before. And I gotta tell you guys, it came out exactly it came out exactly how I wanted it. It came out even better. And now I'm just taking that yellow eyeshadow and just packing it onto my eyelid where the concealer is. I actually want to buy me a lighter concealer because I think for me, I'm gonna buy a lighter concealer and really like, you know, um, make that shadow even brighter. So here I was going back and forth because I noticed that, I don't know if it was my eyes, but it'll pack on the color, but then the color on other, like a little bit spaces of my eye, it'll turn to a dark yellow. And I was thought I was tripping. I was like, cause on camera, you can't really tell. I don't know if you could tell or not, but I was like, you know what? I kinda don't like that. So I kept going back in and packing it. That's why I kept staring at the camera because I'm like, the camera makes it look good. But in the mirror, it kind of looks spotty and patchy with the eyeshadow. And I didn't like this. So I had to kind of keep doubling up, which is weird because Morphe eyeshadow palettes is always pretty good. You don't have to keep going back in. But it could have been my technique, so excuse that. So here I'm going to switch up, and now I'm going to use my Color Story eyeshadow palette called Tropical Glow. And I'm going to be taking the Sunray um, Yellow Shimmer eyeshadow and start applying that right near the beginning of my eyelid where I leave space. I'm starting to do this method where I'll do the whole eyeshadow, but the 10% that's in the beginning of my eyelid that's not covered with the eyeshadow, I'll put like some type of glitter right there. And I'm pretty sure other people do do like doing this or did it before, but I'm starting to fall in love with this trick. Like I'm really am. So I'm trying to scoop up as much as this shimmer eyeshadow that I can and pack it down onto the beginning of my eyelid. And here I was like, I don't know if I could tell if it was showing. It was showing. It kind of looked at like a little neon color of yellow. And I thought it was going to turn it green, but it didn't. So and with this one, I was kind of making sure I didn't go overboard. I was like, do I really like it? And I was kind of feeling for it. I was like, you know, maybe I have to keep going. And you can see it is definitely a lot of fallout. And I was like, you know what, this is the right color. And this is when I took my brush and I kind of blended it out just a bit because um, I didn't want to have that harsh line. And then when I did blend it out, I was like, oh yeah, th this is the color I want. So I went back in, I started going back in with that eyeshadow, uh, patting down any other spaces that I could get and just packing it on there. And for this, you you can use any light eyeshadow you want. I went with this one because I like eyeshadows that have, if I can find another eyeshadow that's, ex that's exactly like it or similar to it and put that in the beginning of the little of my eyelid where it like, com like complements one another. I like that. So this is how it looks. And right here, I did cut off the video and I went back and applied my falsies. But when I did finish that look, I um, also used my is color pop. Yeah, my color pop truly matte deeply eyeshadow palette. And I took the Hungry Girls glitter and I packed that right onto the beginning of my eyelid where I put that uh, shimmer eyeshadow on. If you guys wonder why did it look like I had glitter on. 
so yeah that's exactly what i did you don't have to put glitter right there you can just leave it with the eyeshadow or you can use it even a different color but for me i used the shimmer eyeshadow it's kind of like a base because I was like, I really want this look to pop out because it's yellow. And I took the Hungry Girls glitter and I put them right into the middle. Not middle, uh, the beginning of my eyelid. And that's why it looks so, like, so glittery. Like, really, really cute. And now all I'm doing is just doing my foundation. And the reason why I kind of like to show my foundation because I like to see it too. Um how my skin tone looks a different versus when I put on foundation. Now I'm going to use my Morphe concealer and I'm just going to be, I was really feeling myself guys, but I'm just going to use a little bit of my Morphe concealer and apply it a little bit to the bottom, underneath my eyes, my chin, and the bridge of my nose. I don't apply that much concealer, just only enough for uh, where it needs to be. <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys <laughs> and here I was looking for my uh, rose water mist and I like to damp that on my beauty blending sponge and go in and start blending it out
And now I'm going to be using my Morphe baking set powder. And I don't like to bake like other people. I just really don't like baking to me. I just like keep it on there for a few seconds and then I swipe it off. And I like to apply that to my beauty blender and I'll go underneath my eyes, my chin, and the bridge of my nose. And now I'm going to take my last thing, which is my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in Dark, the darkest shade they do have. And I'm just going to be setting my face with this powder. And here I was pretty much done with everything but the last thing I'm gonna do before I head off is I'm going to use I'm going to highlight basically and for this I normally use my makeup obsession double-sided eyeshadow uh, not eyeshadow but double-sided highlighting palette and I take midsummer's day and I like to highlight under my eyebrows and for this one, I noticed on this <laughs> eyebrow, I did put a lot of like highlight under it. Um, maybe that's normal for other people. I like to highlight, but not too much for it. Kind of make a white cast. Like I just wanted to just put enough. But I was like, I do want them to be highlighted to the brown, so it really didn't bother me. But I did took notice of that, as you can see. And once I finished my highlighting my eyebrows, that's when I went to my nose and then the bridge of my nose. You all can uh, go ahead and highlight or add any blush, bronzers, you know, um, contour your face. I just don't contour. I don't use blush. I don't use highlight for my eyebrows and my nose. I used to use it for my cheeks, but I stopped because I feel like it was just unnecessary and but that's just me that's just me being me but i will go back and use it like if it's a special occasion but for this look i didn't but you can and here i was finally done with the look and thank you all for really tuning in for this look and i did my bottom lashes off camera I just finished applying my little bottle on my eyelashes and I'm kind of getting around to using these now so if you see them put me on put these on <laughs> just know that I am using it um so that's not the complete look to complete this look I'm gonna also add some freckles I really want this look to be really totally glammed out but also I have to add my freckles so I'm gonna use my morphe the pumping and just like a little pencil brush doesn't really have to be sharp and I'm just gonna go in and put like some random dots on my face cuz I really want some freckles I really do mm. I love me some freckles I'm just gonna pause that <laughs> I'm not gonna add too many freckles just like a little bit of freckles because I still want to keep this look very very glammed uh, 
I just want a little freckles so you probably can see better. Just a wee bit freckles. Not that many. And then I'm going to apply my lip gloss. That could be a complete look of this look actually. I kind of would add like some white highlight, but I don't, I don't know. It's a white liner. I don't know what it is. I just want to keep this look of just glam. I like that. Yeah. Mm. I did forget something totally uh, I did remember I forget something mm. okay maybe I misplaced something hold on give me a second there we go <sighs> I did not know what it okay so I'm gonna use my Morphe setting spray to set my makeup in place. I was gonna redo my hair and kind of put it in a different look, but I think I'm gonna do that, hold on. <sighs> Needed that to set. <sighs> so yeah, I'm going to do my hair right quick and then I'll come back with the final look. Hey everyone, I am back from at least doing my hair. And this completes the look for this, this, com everything is complete, I'm so sorry. And no, I am not hot anymore, but I guess I'm feeling the after effects, like I still feel like I'm moving a lot slower. <clears throat> so yeah. So thank you guys so much for doing this look. I would have put my, like, put in like two balls for this look, kind of give it more of a cute, better feel. Sorry about my little ends. I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow, okay, guys? Don't come for me now. Please don't let me tell you now. Don't come for me. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. Ugh, I hate this stupid piece of hair. It's like, it's the first piece, but I don't want it touching me. So, you know. And I'll kind of just leave this part down. Anyways, uh, thank you all for tuning to this video. Please thumbs up this video for me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel down below and make sure you the bell so that we can get notified every time when I upload. I'm gonna be pushing out a lot of um, a lot of makeup tutorials uh, relating to fall and winter, especially towards the end of the year. So you're gonna see me come out with bright makeup. And some of them you may see me with fall makeup. But I hope you guys really did enjoy this tutorial, this whole look, and yeah, thank you guys so much. Oh yeah, follow me on social media, which will be linked in the description box below, which is Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and I'll see you guys.